Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack. I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad you're tuning in. Today's outfit is brought to you by Jesse from The Parent Trap. I'm really channeling like the corduroy shirt, French braid vibe. Let me know if it hits. Today I'm doing a review of Alphalete's new collection. It launched on Black Friday. It's their Pebble Print Surface Collection. So I got a couple pieces to kind of just try out the different fits that I haven't tried before. Also look at the new patterns. So yeah, I guess there's not a lot to say. Let's get started. So this is the new Pebble Print that launched. And this is the mocha color. So these shorts have a cross waist. It dips down in the front. I think they're three and a half, four inches. The back has alphalete and it's like embossed on. It has a slight dip down seam. No butt scrunch, just a seam. And they do come in and taper in. I have a shorter torso, so I was reading that these come to a good height on shorter torsos, where if you had like a long or normal torso, they do come pretty low. I think your belly button shows. And in a previous video, my first Alphalete video actually, I tried the oil print stain in a medium. There wasn't a ton of compression, so I was interested in trying a small. So I got these in a small. And then I got, this is the new wrap bra. So the wrap bra comes to like a V in the front. And if you're busty, I think it comes pretty low, but on me it's like fine. There's nothing like sewing the parts together, but it does have removable pads. It has the logo on the front. It's the same embossed print. It's not focusing. The back, it's not adjustable. It comes to a racer back and it has this like stretchy part. It has a band at the bottom, which does feel really stretchy. I did hear that these kind of ran big, so I got this in my normal size medium, but I also got a size small to try. Sometimes with Alphalete, I can be a small in some of their bras, and I do think this medium looks pretty big. And because it's kind of low, the smaller size might work better just to provide a little bit more coverage and support as well. Okay, this is the mocha outfit, and I will say, not my favorite color. This is the size medium, and it is a little big. Like, you, there's a little bit of gaping. Also, I don't have a huge chest, and then it does come pretty low. So, like, looking down, you can see a lot. There's, like, a lot of room in the straps. This is the back. So, yeah, just very stretchy. It is cute, it's flattering, it doesn't cut in. There wouldn't be side boob, it has good coverage. So I do like it and I will see how the small fits. The medium's just a little too big and it's not super supportive. Probably wouldn't be able to do a ton in this. These are the size small shorts. I previously tried the mediums and they don't fit like, I don't know, that different. They do feel a little shorter, like they can't, they don't come up as high. Probably because the mediums had a little extra length but the mediums would always roll down anyway. So I do like that the smalls, they seem to stay up in that V a little better, even though like, if you move at all, they will roll down. That's the thing about the V. <laughs> Maybe if you had like no fat whatsoever in your stomach, but like if you do, it kind of just pushes them over. This is the back. I would say this color would be squat proof. And it's not bad on the glutes, but it does feel kind of low here. You can't pull them up. It kind of dips down so that's kind of annoying like because I'm trying to get them higher up on my waist to kind of cover a little bit more but they're just not going in the back they're kind of staying dipped down but yeah this is the mocha and then I also got the whale blue color so these are the leggings same cross waistband same logo same V the bottom looks normal yeah this is whale blue which I did it was my favorite color and I am more excited for this one. I just got the mocha to kind of try out a different color. This is the wrap bra on a size small. Well, let me compare them. The medium's on the bottom, small's on the top, and it has like an inch difference maybe. So I would say there is a difference. And then the small is slightly shorter too. I also got the Surface Limitless bra. I have tried before, but not in a filmed review. I got this in a nor my normal size medium because I think it's a little bit more true to size. This band doesn't feel too tight either, actually. Has the same logo in the front. Little strap. So the first time I tried it, it wasn't super supportive, you know, because these straps are pretty thin and stretchy. They are adjustable. And then there's a little cross detail in the back, which is cute. Removable pads. I'm a big fan of the Gymshark Bandeau bra. When I tried these out, I was really excited, but just the fit was like slightly different and not as cute. So I didn't end up keeping them. 
While I did get the small leggings on my body, was it the easiest thing I've ever done? No. <laughs> this is the size small bra. It is tighter, so it's kind of pushing the chest a little bit more together, creating a little bit more cleavage than the medium, which makes sense. I do feel more supported. Again, it's still like very low, and I probably wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it in the gym, but it's like a going out shirt maybe. This is the back. While I don't love the bra, I would recommend sizing down if you were interested, just to provide a little bit more support and compression, and then it'll make your girls look good. These are the size small leggings. They feel a little higher in the front, and like I can pull them up a little higher than I was able to with the shorts, but in the back it has the same like dip down. The same dip down, so like pulling them up. It feels kind of uncomfortable, just cause it feels like you wish there'd be more. Like it kind of comes up higher on the sides. But they are flattering on the glutes. I got the 27 inch and they end like right above my ankles, which is a good length. But they were really hard to get on, like just pulling them up. You know, when you see your unflattering angle of everything before it's like put into a high rise legging, not, not my fave. But yeah, I would say these are probably squat proof as well. And then this is the second style, the bra, and the straps are very tiny. I think it's fine for me, like I don't feel like it's not supportive, but if you were bustier, you'd be like squeezed, and then the straps themselves, like, there's still a ton of stretch. But the band's not too tight, and it provides good support, and then this is the back. So, I actually like this on better than I did when I tried it last year, but because the straps are so tiny, I don't think I'd keep it just because it's not providing a ton of support. It would have to be for a very like low intensity workout. Yoga maybe, like it's cute. And I really like the pattern, um, but yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. This video was kind of short and sweet, like filming it. I did it very fast and I don't know if that's good or that's bad. I tried on the pieces and you guys can see what they look like and I think that's the point of the review anyway. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you made it to the end, please like this video if you found it helpful and please subscribe to my channel for future activewear reviews. See you next time, bye.